No matter where we come from or our social class, we are all tempted by earthly possessions. And in this triptych, Hieronymus Bosch urges the viewers to make the right decisions in life. Bosch creates this message using his unique style, including many strange and bizarre details. Entitled a Haywine Triptych, it consists of a central panel, from which the name of the triptych is derived because of the presence of the hay cart at the center. The panel on the left shows the Garden of Eden, while the right panel shows Hell. These two panels also contain a painting on the back, so when the doors are closed, you would see the following scene. And the one thing that connects all these panels is that Bosch advises people to avoid evil choices, as otherwise you would end up in hell. At the center is a cart with a large amount of hay, and the human activity is centered around this cart. The resurrected Jesus is watching the scene from the cloud above. It's a clear sign that Jesus is watching the choices the people down below make. And this symbol is repeated by the inclusion of an owl sitting on this branch, sticking out of the hay. On top of the hay cart, we can see an angel on the left looking up, trying to pray for the sinners. And a devilish creature playing the trumpet on the right. Looking at the earthly pleasures of the people at the center, it seems that the devil's influence on them is bigger than that of the angel. It's a warning to make the right choices in life, very similar to Bosch's scene of the ship of fools in another painting. The hay cart is pulled forward by a group of demons, walking in the direction of hell which is depicted on the panel on the right side. Behind the hay cart are people from all walks of life, ranging from peasants to the presence of the emperor, pope, king and the duke. They may have no clue that the cart is pulled by demonic creatures, and the question Boss poses is obviously, who will be following the demonic creatures to hell, and who is stepping away from this procession? In front of the hay cart are people fighting with each other trying to grab a bit of hay. And the reason this is a cart full of hay is that hay was considered something of relatively little value, and definitely not something that people should be fighting over. But if you are greedy like these guys, you try to get whatever you can grab for free. On top of that, hay is a symbol of transience. It's basically mowed grass that has dried, after which it is used to feed animals. But if the hay is not consumed, it will become useless. And finally, in the bottom foreground, daily life is represented. People just doing their daily stuff, like raising and feeding their kids, cooking and pulling a tooth. Just like the composition of the Garden of Earthly Delights, the most famous painting by Bosch, the Haywain triptych shows a scene of the Garden of Eden in the left panel and a scene from Hell in the other side panel. In the Garden of Eden panel, we see a sequential story with Adam and Eve just after their creation and God warning them that they should not eat from the tree of knowledge. But the snake seduced them to eat the fruit anyway, as we can see here, which leads to the expulsion of Adam and Eve from paradise. You can see how the angel sternly refuses Adam to return to paradise and sends him in the direction of the central panel representing our world. On top, God bans the rebelling angels from heaven, and we can see how they turn into monstrous insects, as a sign that evil has been present at our planet from the earliest of days. Looking at the panel showing hell, it looks like hell is still under construction. We can see devils still working on the creation of the circular tower, and notice how the position of the ladder in hell is exactly similar as the ladder against the hay cart. But it's not gonna be some nice place for all the newcomers to hell, judging by the tortures that Bosch included in the rest of this panel, including this intriguing torture instrument on top of the new building. This is the view of the triptych when the doors are closed, showing a scene quite similar to the Wayfarer, a painting I recently discussed in great detail on this channel. It shows a poor traveler whose body is divided by the gap between the two doors. 
The traveler at the center walks along a sandy path and he is approaching a little bridge. The man is holding a walking stick or club with which he tries to keep the growling dog with a spiky collar at distance. It's an allegorical message of keeping the devil away from him. He will have to make the choice on whether to cross the bridge soon and Bosch deliberately doesn't show what he will come across after the bridge, just as we will not know what the future will hold for us. And notice the ladle hanging from his basket, which is a symbol of wastefulness. The path the traveler is walking on came from the hills behind him, where he would have witnessed the various scenes we see there. In the background is a gallows mountain and you may see the stairs and the crowd indicating that someone was hung there recently. On the left are three robbers attacking another traveler whom they have bound against a tree. These two shepherds are dancing to the bagpipe music that the man sitting against the tree is making. You can see the sheep surrounding them but they have given in to the music which is probably a symbol of lust. Above the bagpipe player is a little shrine looking like a bird's house. It's difficult to see but it contains a depiction of the crucifixion of Jesus and the two other criminals. This painting is one of the last that Bosch made together with his workshop. He died in 1516, somewhere between the age of 60 to 65, and scientific research into the wood of this triptych dates the panels to the last five years of his life. There are actually two versions of it, with only very minor differences, both are located in Madrid, and people are still arguing which panels are the original and which ones the copies. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this discussion. If you love the works of Bosch, I have also videos on this channel about some of his other works like The Wayfarer and of course The Garden of Earthly Delights which is also on display in the Prado Museum in Madrid. Finally, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button, subscribe and feel free to share any thoughts you have about this triptych and Hieronymus Bosch. I love reading your thoughts. Thanks for watching.